So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's Make Launch Free campaign we go about looking at how to fix a certain Samsung mobile issue. Now the issue here is like many users have noticed that in the Samsung phones the ringtone volume will fall down by itself. So this will fall down to itself to 10 to 20 percent which makes incoming call very hard to hear. So I want to set it to higher levels. I want to set it to this level and I really don't want it to decrease. Now let me show you what happens if I use the volume buttons for lowering the volume. So I just go back and I use the volume button and I am lowering down say the volume to this level or almost to something very little. Now let me go back to volume and you have seen that despite me setting the ringtone volumes to very high levels, the ringtone volumes have now fallen down which means that the volume buttons which I have used it is also decreasing by ringtone volume. Now what I will actually do is I will only use the volume buttons for media. Let me turn this to on. This means that when I am watching a media like say YouTube or something like this the volume buttons are now intended only for increasing the media volume and it should in no way interfere with my ringtone volume. Now let me again increase my ringtone volume to very high levels and let me now go back and let me now like take down volume to very low levels and let me go back to volume and voila you can see that the ringtone volumes have not come down which means that please turn this to on unlike many tutorials on youtube which is suggesting to put it to off which i don't think is the right way to do it i think using volume buttons for media itself means that your volume buttons will only control the media sound and no longer the ringtone volume so this is one thing that you need to do Next again within sounds and vibrations you need to go to sound quality and effects and here you can turn off adapt sound. What the adaptive sound does is like in case you are using it, it will kind of increase the uh, frequency boost frequencies so that like you know uh, in case it's uh, hard on hearing like someone is hard on hearing it can increase those boost frequencies but I really don't like the adapt sound feature. Just turn it off sometimes this may actually help although it doesn't help in most of the occasions. Next I want you to enter the notification panel so like I will just head towards my settings screen here I want you to search for do not disturb. I don't want your do not disturb to be turned on so in case if it's turned on turn it off. It's been noted that in case do not disturb is turned on sometimes the phone ringer volume gets muted so just seeing that your do not disturb is not turned on may also help. Now one more thing and this is to do with your networks. So scroll swipe from the top and check whether your Bluetooth is turned on. What happens is sometimes when your Bluetooth is turned on and it may connect to certain Bluetooth devices especially when you are in driving. You may have seen that when you are not in the driving mode your ringer volume goes down to zero or something like 10 to 20 percent. Turning off Bluetooth will actually disconnect you from those devices. And it's also quite advisable that if you are in driving mode, simply check once whether your ringer volume has decreased. Just increase it to higher levels and then disconnect from Bluetooth so that you are not anymore paired with the Bluetooth device. This actually works in 50 to 60 percent of the cases. Next, I will advise heading towards your settings, scrolling down until you see apps here. Inside apps, uh, if this problem has started occurring recently, I will advise just searching for apps which may have recently installed just see whether like uninstalling those apps may actually work. So it's quite possible that your son or your friend may have installed a game or something and after installation of that application this thing has started happening. Just try checking and see if there are apps which you don't need. Try un uninstalling those applications and maybe it will work. There is another thing that you need to do also that is click on the three little dots here and tap on reset app preferences. Don't worry, nothing changes, no data gets lost. Maybe you need to repunch your Wi-Fi password, but that's all. You don't lose any data, which is a common question. So simply tap on reset and in a few moments from now, your app preferences will be reset. At this point, I would advise restarting your phone, especially after you have reset your app preferences. That really helps. So once you have rebooted your phone, maybe this problem will no longer happen. Now again, even after doing this, if nothing has happened, just as a troubleshooting solution head towards your general management, scroll down until you see reset and here like you will see there is an option of resetting all settings, resetting accessibility settings and resetting all network settings. So I will advise that you reset all your settings and it will say that it will reset your security, language, accounts, personal data, settings for downloaded apps. 
Now this is something that you should exercise with caution. So this data will definitely get kind of reset, but there is no data loss as such. But once you do this, kind of this problem has been reported to be solved for a few. So go ahead and try doing this and let's see if it works. So you need to put in your pin. So I will just do it. And then you actually starting uh, the reset process. So it will restart the device to reset settings. So let this happen. It doesn't really matter. So let it progress. So the phone is rebooting. And at this point, you can see the Samsung logo followed by the Samsung Galaxy logo. And now in a short while, the phone will restart. There you go. The phone has started. I will now put in my pin. So the phone is starting and there you go. The phone has started. Well, if all this fails, then there is this last thing that you can do. And that is by heading towards your phone settings, going and checking whether there is a reset, uh, sorry, phone update available for your phone. So software update, go ahead and check and see if there's a phone update available. If there is, go ahead and update your device. Sometimes software updates can also fix this issue. So you can do this now or later. I will do this later, but I'm just letting you know how you can do this. So software updates have been known to fix this problem as well. Now you won't believe this, but simply checking your case can also help. Sometimes, you know, the case, uh, this side is not that great and the phone ringer thing kind of gets accidentally pressed by the phone case. So chaining your phone case may also help at times. Though this is sounding silly, it actually helps. Also, what you can do is just simply tap the phone. Sometimes there are notorious things, notorious parts in the device. So tapping the phone and massaging the phone. So like from bottom to top, inside, outside, just do this. You may just power off your device and then do this at the back as well. So in case you want to know which phone is this, this is Samsung M35. So just do this and maybe now your phone will never have ringtone uh, volume problem. So hopefully that helps. In case it does, please uh, subscribe to my channel. In case you find a better solution, do let us know that as well. I do know that this is a pretty irritating problem. Many people have complained of it on forums. But yes, like uh, using volume for only media and also disabling your Bluetooth and checking that do not disturb is not turned on, checking for phone updates, all of this may actually help. So go ahead and do this. Also try resetting your app preferences, check for any third party apps that you may have installed and which may have caused this. So do let me know in the comment section if all of this has helped you fixing your lower ringtone volume in your Samsung device. So guys, that's all from my side in case you like our work. Kindly consider subscribing and please do share this with your friends and family. I'll catch you in the next one.